So I can't believe my eyes. I'm getting messages from all kinds of agents up in New York telling me that they shut cold calling down till September 7th because of the coronavirus and the lockdown quarantine going on up there. Um, they issued a, an email that I got a copy of and it seems to be legit. I think they've actually shut cold calling down for real estate agents in New York till September 7th. Why September 7th? I don't understand why they're extending it that long. Why not a month or two, see what happens. September 7th is the date. So what I wanna do is I wanna help the agents in New York right now. Everybody comment below, and let us know what you would do if you were in their shoes. Okay, what would you do to stay busy? Cause there's tons of stuff to do to stay busy prospecting in different ways to stay in touch with people, stay in touch with your past clients, prospect for new clients. I'm gonna give you a couple right here. First thing I would do is I would call back through all my past clients, okay? I would also go back through all my emails for as long as I've been a real estate agent. I would go through inbox and sent folder and I would email every single person checking on them, seeing how they're doing. That's gonna take a long time. You can also DM random people in your market. DM them on Instagram, DM them on Facebook, DM all your Facebook friends, reach out to them, see how they're they're doing see what's going on communicate with them via email via DM another thing I would do is I would call as many local real estate agents as I possibly can yes local real estate agents I want to hear what they're doing I want to network with them I want to come together with the local agents and see what we can do to stay productive I'm gonna put a link to the email below so you guys can read this for yourself another thing I think I would go crazy on is direct mail handwritten notes if you handwrite the envelope and you handwrite the letter just one sentence one or two sentences with a question you're going to get a 90 percent or more open rate so you have their attention they're going to know who you are and they may call you i would also keep red x because i wouldn't want to lose my database but what i would do is i would go back through all the numbers i've already called because now we're calling them for a second time and if we disposition them like we should as far as not interested or never call again or whatever the case may be we can go back through all the good numbers that we call that we talked to people and had good conversations with, we can go back through all those phone numbers and check on those people. It's not a cold call. We've already talked to them. We've already had a pleasant conversation. You can also use Red X for your past clients. You can plug all your phone numbers. You can export them from your phone and download them into an Excel sheet into Red X and use the dollar for those phone calls. I'm going to tell you right now, if I was in New York and this happened to me, absolutely nothing would stop me from continuing to push forward. A lot of agents might lay down. This may be a huge opportunity for the real workers out there that will find other ways to communicate with people in their market. So those are just a couple of ideas from me. Um, I could probably think of tons more i know i can i'll actually go inside right now and and make a list i'll probably post it in the facebook group please comment below if you have any ideas of things that these agents in new york can do to stay busy and stay productive new york agents i want you to know that we're here for you we want to pull together and do everything we can do to help you pull through this situation much love to all we'll talk to you soon